Hi guys, this is Rocky Burahman. Welcome to Technical Design. If you want to learn AutoCAD from beginning or if you want to increase your drawing skill, you can subscribe to my channel Technical Design. In this video, I will create a 2D practice drawing in AutoCAD and I will start this drawing with drafting an annotation workspace. Before start drawing, make sure all the basic settings have been done. For all the basic settings video, please click on the i button above. After completing all the basic settings, you can start your drawing. So let's start. At first, all we need to do just draw all the center line. So to draw center line, at first we have to load the line type as center line. So to load, type LT enter, then click on load option from here. And choose the line type as center 2. After that, click on OK button. Now in properties section, click here and choose the line type as center. Now at first, we have to draw this center line. To draw this center line, type L enter, then choose this point as first point and move your cursor to this side and put the length value as more than 100 mm, then press double enter. Now we have to draw this center line. To draw this center line, type L enter, then move your cursor to this midpoint. You will observe that the midpoint O snap will appear here, indicated by this green triangle. If the O snap is not visible, Make sure object snap A3 is active and click here. Now from this menu turn on midpoint. I also suggest you to turn on endpoint, center point, quadrant, intersection, tangent etc. Now move your cursor to this midpoint and drag it upwards through this green tracking line and click here. Now to specify the next point move your cursor downwards and click here. After that press escape to exit the command. Now we have to draw this angular center line. For that all you need to do just rotate this line at 30 degree angle. Make sure while you rotate an object always turn off ortho mode. So to rotate type RO enter then select this line and press enter. Now choose this point as base point and from this menu click on copy option. Now put the rotation angle as 30 degree then press enter. Again we have to draw this similar line. For that, we can use mirror command. For mirror, type MI enter, then select this line and press enter. Now specify this point as first point of mirror line and again specify this point as second point of mirror line. Then from here, choose no option. Now we have to trim this extra part. For that, type TR double enter, then trim this below part. After trimming, press escape to exit the command. Now we have to draw this center line. For that just offset this line with a distance of 35 mm. So to offset type O enter then put the offset distance as 35 then press enter. Now select this line and move your cursor downwards and click here. After that press escape to exit the command. Now we have to draw this center line. For that just offset this line with a distance of 41 mm. For offset type O enter then put the offset distance as 41 then press enter. Now select this line and move your cursor this side and click here. Again select this line and move your cursor this side and click here. Now just adjust these two lines for good looking. Now we have to draw this two center line. But for that we need this point. So to find out this point we have to draw this circle which diameter is 8 to 2 mm. So to draw circle type C enter then choose this point as center point and type D enter for diameter. Now put the diameter value as 82 mm then press enter. Now you can see this circle is drawn by continuous line. But here this is not a continuous line this is center line. So we have to change this as continuous line. For that just select this circle and move your cursor into the property section and click here. And from this menu choose bilayer or continuous. Now we have to draw this two center line. For that we need to specify this two point. So to specify this two point type L enter. Then choose this intersection point as first point. Now make sure ortho mode is turn off. Then move your cursor to this end point. And put the length value as 24 then press enter. Again move your cursor to this end point. And put the length value as 20 then press enter. Now you can draw this two center line. 
So to draw this center line, type L enter, then move your cursor to this end point. But don't click here. Just drag your cursor to this side through this green tracking line and click here. Now turn on ortho mode again and drag your cursor this side and click here. Then press escape to exit the command. Now we need to draw this center line also. So to draw this type L enter then move your cursor to this end point but don't click here. Again move your cursor through this green tracking line and click here. Now move your cursor this side and click here. Then press escape to exit the command. Now we can see this two center line is parallel to this line but we need this two line as perpendicular to this line. So for that we have to rotate this line with the angle of 30 degree. So to rotate type arrow enter then select this line and press enter. Now choose this intersection point as base point. Be more sure while you rotate and any object you should turn off ortho mode F8. After turn off ortho mode put the angle value as minus 30 degree then press enter. Ok now we have to rotate this center line also. So to rotate type arrow enter then select this line and press enter. Now choose this intersection point as base point and put the angle value as minus 30 degree then press enter. Now we need to draw this two center line. So to draw this two center line we can use mirror command. For mirror type mi enter then select this two center line and press enter. Then choose this point as first point of mirror line and again choose this point as second point of mirror line. Then click on no option from here. Ok here we have drawn all the center line. Now we need to change the line type as continuous line. So to change go to the properties section and click here and from this menu choose bilayer. Now we need to draw these 6 holes which diameter is 12 mm. So to draw circle type C enter then choose this point as center point and type D enter for diameter then put the diameter value as 12 mm then press enter. Now to draw other 5 circle we can use copy command. So to copy type CO enter then select this circle and press enter. Now choose this center point as base point and copy all these 5 intersection point. After copy press escape to exit the command. Now we need to draw this part. So to draw this part at first we need to offset this line with a distance of 13 mm. So to offset type O enter then put the offset distance as 13 mm and press enter. Now select this line and move your cursor this side and click here and again select this line and move your cursor this side and click here. Now press escape to exit the command. Now we need to change this line type as continuous line. For change select this two line and move your cursor into the properties section and click here and choose bilayer or continuous. Now we need to draw this curve. For that type C enter then choose this point as center point and put the radius value as 13 mm then press enter. Now we need to trim this extra part. So to trim type TR double enter then select this all extra part and trim them very carefully. After trimming press escape to exit the command. Now we need to draw this similar part into this side. So to draw this similar part into this side we can use mirror command. So to mirror type mi enter then select this object and press enter. Then select this point as first point of mirror line and again select this point as second point of mirror line. Then click on no option. Now we need to draw this fillet curve which radius is 22 mm. For that type f enter r enter then put the radius value as 22 then press enter. Then select this object as first object and again select this object as second object. Now we need to draw this curve which radius is 53 mm. So to draw this curve we need to draw a circle. So to draw circle type c enter then choose this point as center point and put the radius value as 53 then press enter. Ok now we need to draw this fillet curve which radius is 12 mm. So to draw this curve type F enter, R enter then put the radius value as 12 mm then press enter. Then select this object as first object and again select this object as second object. 
Now we need to draw this similar flat curve also. So to draw, just press enter, then select this object as first object and again select this object as second object. Now trim this extra part. So to trim, type tr double enter, then select the extra part and trim them very carefully. After trimming, press escape to exit the command. Now we need to draw this curve which radius is 12 mm. So to draw this curve, we need to draw a circle. So to draw circle, type C enter, then choose this point as center point and put the radius value as 12 mm, then press enter. Now we need to draw this line. So to draw this line, type L enter, then press shift plus right click on your mouse and from here choose tangent. Now Select this curve and again press shift plus right click on your mouse and from here choose tangent and select this circle. After that press escape to exit the command. Now we need to draw this similar part into this side. For that we can use mirror command. For mirror type mi enter then select this object and press enter. Then select this point as first point of mirror line and again select this point as second point of mirror line. Then click on no option from here. Okay, now we need to draw this baseline. For that type L enter, then choose this point as first point and again choose this point as second point. Now press escape to exit the command. Now we need to trim this extra part. For that type TR double enter and select all the extra part to trim them. After trimming, press escape to exit the command. Now we need to draw this part. For that, all we need to draw two circles which diameter is 55 mm and 64 mm respectively. So to draw circle, type C enter, then choose this point as center point and type D enter for diameter. Now put the diameter value as 55 then press enter. Again to draw the other circle, just press enter, then choose this point as center point and type D enter for diameter and put the diameter value as 64 then press enter. Ok, now we need to offset this line with the distance of 3.5 mm. So to offset type O enter, R enter then put the offset distance as 3.5 mm then press enter. Then select this object and move your cursor to downwards and click here. And again select this object and move your cursor down upwards and click here. Again we have to change this line type as continuous line. So to change select this two line and move your cursor to into the properties section and click here. From this menu choose continuous line. Now we need to trim all the extra part so to trim type tr double enter then select the extra part and trim them very carefully. Now we need to use array command to draw all the remaining teeth. So to array Type AR enter, then select this object and press enter. Now from this menu choose polar array and specify this point as center point. Now from this menu choose the number of items as 12 then press enter. After that press escape to exit the command. So our drawing is almost ready. Just we need to trim this extra part. So to trim type TR double enter, then just select this extra part and trim them.
After trimming, press escape to exit the command. I hope this video was useful to you. If you don't want to miss more tutorials, so go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Keep watching, keep learning. Thank you very much.